Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to check the status of SQL servers and reporting services and um, agent. Okay, uh, and also the database status. Okay, so here um, my client is activate doing some activity. So and he has disabled monitoring and uh, on 50 servers. So once the activity is completed, he will inform that to check the database uh, SQL Server instance agent and services is, uh, is started or not. Uh, once the statuses are not good in state and we enable the uh, monitoring tool, we, uh, for 50 servers we will get 100 tickets. That's the reason we have to verify and if everything is there, uh, we need to dis uh, enable the monitoring on those servers only. Okay, once it is started and we need to check the database databases either they are, they are in offline or uh, restoring pending what that status it is. So to identify this, so uh, why because we have we need to check the reporting services and other services as well, right? For that reason, I have divided this task into two categories. First, I will leave the SQL servers and reporting services. Here, uh, one thing I need to make you sure that uh, here you need to pass go to test servers and servers list. I have passed the servers names. Here the notify is not there just to make sure that how uh, if instance is not getting connected server how it will report that I want to show you. That's the reason I have mentioned that computer name. This is not the SQL servers name. The beauty of this code is it will fetch the, all the SQL servers inside the systems. So it is a named instance or it, whatever it could be. Okay, it will fetch that. Okay, uh, it will fetch and it will report the real results and everything. Okay, mm, now here. So you, if you see here, and I will show you. So why it is all the instances, also all the computer names. So from it uh, here, you need to paste that list and everything. So now, in that I need only uh, SQL services. And the reporting services, if you want to mention, you can mention that uh, here I have mentioned equal form, equal match to reporting services. I just want to let you know that one, okay? So if you want that report, you can match it. Otherwise, what are the services that you not required, you can mention that uh, not equal to in, the, in this browser. You can, you can just copy this command and paste it somewhere here and you can mention the replace with the service name, okay? So now i will click execute button here click execute see all are running so ms sql uh, default instance is running sql server agent is running coming to that so here i am having node 1 node 2 node 3 i got this error it means so whatever services that is not uh, names that is not there it means that objects are by seeing that we came to okay node 3 is available node 2 is available node 1 available but uh, node 5 we are getting node 5 error so like that you can take rdp and you can see that what could be the issue or you can inform to the infrastructure team okay so that is the one thing now go to configuration manager go to yeah, uh, this agent. Okay, so now stop. Okay. I have stopped the agent. Okay, so just to show the other it is working or right or not. Okay uh, Now click execute See that was uh, that a node node one agent SQL server agent was stopped it means it's so uh, the script is working what how we are expected now Yes, we got this screen. We can take this output and we can share uh, we can name that uh, instances all the instances except reporting services and other services so you can paste it here again okay these are computer names for for this script you have to mention the computer names where the sql servers was installed the second script so i have installed only the name default instances row so there is no difference between the computer names and uh, instance name okay but for you if it is a named instance you have to pay uh, you have to paste the uh, you, if any you have to pay the sql server instances now 
go back to this the third script here here uh, if i just mention the uh, this is the query or click execute just wait uh, it will give the report so for notify you will get an error okay why because the server is itself not itself okay so if you see here network related error okay so it means the notify is not yet started or there uh, you have to manual if it is there for example let notify it is there so you need to go and check that okay so here yeah here the error what out Grid we are getting here is just wait completed. So I need to uh, uh, I need to uh, comment it here. Okay, now click execute. you will get this happen so for example if you go on three for uh, I have put the one database offline whether it is showing or not see here here you will see that test node one test database is offline okay the node three uh, adventure box it's a log shipping database so it is in restoring mode only so you have you can see that okay uh, what are the status you can see actually it and you can if you go on three and verify whether it is a respective databases configured in any availability restoring mode is it is still recovering so you can go and verify for example if you want to see only uh, if if there are so many servers and we want to see you can use where command where status is equal to offline or something else where is a, uh, status not equal to online otherwise so you can use the where command or otherwise you can remove comment it so copy this out grid view paste it here and comment this and now you will get to know an output uh, grid will get come so there you can filter if you want for notify you will get an error Yeah, see you will get error. So now you want to check the offline databases type here offline. If you want to see the online databases, say lock, lock offline. Okay, so this is only offline. So you can filter the result using this output format. So it's all up to how you are going to use that. Okay, uh, for now I am going to uh, use the format table only. Okay, so I am commenting this. If you want to use this, you can use out good view if you want. So I'm going to give the scripts. Um, just go through that and uh, let me know how it is useful. Plus one thing I'm uh, eagerly waiting to see your response. Uh, okay, if it is useful, uh, please express your opinion. I hope you may like this video. Thank you.